Hi, this is Beth. I'm going to show you some a tutorial on how to use our newest uh, product on PhotoDuds called Melange. Uh, it's a vector-based uh, product. It's a lot of swirlies and exciting things to play with. So let's get started. So here we have the Melange set, as if you would download it and once you've already unzipped it or you've loaded it off of your DVD. So in here we have frames, we have templates, we have vector patterns which act like papers, we have the vector art itself, and then we have a shape we took some of the vectors and to put them into shapes so we have uh, shape tools and we also have brushes. Now brushes are limited in size and that's why the vector is actually better. Uh, sometimes it is just easier to do a brush um, but we're going to show you different things you can do with these things today. Now in Photoshop now all you have to do, you used to actually have to be into Photoshop and you would go into your brushes palette and you know go uh, load, go to the load brushes and things like that. You can still do it that way, but now the easiest thing to do is you can actually just double click and it'll load those brushes into your palette. The same thing for the custom shapes, you can just double click that and it will load them right into your palette. Now let me show you where these shapes are. So you're going to go into here and into the custom shape tool and now I've loaded those shapes into my palette. So these are some of the shapes here that were loaded from the Melange set. They were created from the vectors. Um, so now shapes can only be one color so that's a little difference a lot of our vectors now have two colors so I'm going to show you how you can use some of those and change them let's go into the vector patterns first I'm going to open this like I said these act somewhat like papers so you can get a little preview of what's in the set but I'm going to actually open this one called buttons and we're going to show you how really quickly and simply you can change um, these things right quickly. So if we open up in your layers palette and look, you can see each little pattern there, a portion of it has a color. Okay? So what you're actually going to do is it's like a color fill option. So all to do to change this color is you're just going to go in here and double click on the color and then find the color that you want to change it to. And you can see it actually right preview it, preview it right on your screen. So you can actually sort of design while just dragging this bar around to change your colors. So we can go into each one, change the color, give it a completely different look. So you can see here how quickly you can actually just change that and create an entirely new paper. So I can even go in here in the background and change this color. I mean, we, the, the possibilities are absolutely infinite with these patterns and papers. So anyway, that's a real quick tutorial on how to take those patterns and create a new paper. So we're going to close this up. Let's go in here. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you too is how to work with these different vectors. Now here, here are the vectors. You can sort of see them previewed here. I tried to create things that I found that I use. You know, we have here we have brackets. Um, I'm all the time designing announcements and things like that, and I need separators um, or something that sort of signifies a period of text so I can bring attention to it in a price list or things like that. But some of these things are just pretty to design cards with, to um, you know, just enhance your images. So we're actually going to take. I want to open up one of this uh, images here on a shot on a white background, and we're actually going to make it a little bit more interesting. So here we have a senior that I shot and we actually already did a little compositing of the image. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open one of these vectors that have multicolors. So when, when you're dragging this onto your image you want to make sure that you highlight both of the layers and then bring them into the image. So we're just going to drag that in there. The great thing then at this point, now I could just hit transform, I can rotate it, do whatever. The other great thing again, like I was showing you in those patterns, I can just click right in here, come to a new color, I can just that quickly change the entire look of the, the vector really quickly. The other thing is, is when you enlarge this, I mean you're going to have lossless um, you know, it's, you're not going to have any like pixelization or jaggedy edges with this vector. It can make it as big as you need it to. So if you need to make a billboard, you go right ahead. So anyway, let's get back there. And so you can see how quickly it is that you can actually take these different vectors and open them up, drag them into your image, and start creating something just a little more unique.
Let's see, make that a little redder, closer to the other one. Again, sort of. Now, these can work independently too. So each layer is its own thing. So you don't have to move both of them. You can turn one off if you say, I just want the, the red layers. Whatever you want to do, you can do with these. Uh, we try to give you a lot of options so you can actually do more of the own creation so that, you know, when you buy a template or things like that, your images are going to look just like everybody else that bought the template. A lot of our products are designed so that you can actually create things from the ground up. I liked a lot of these medallions, so we created some of these medallions in the in the set. Um, let's just show you one of these really quick. Same thing, all you're going to do is just drag it on, and then you can actually you know, really start creating something unique. If you want to change the color, get to the black, blue, it's really that simple to start creating. Here I can take this, I can duplicate the layer, so now I can drag this other one over down in here. You know, I could even duplicate that, start really creating a pattern. So anyway, one more use. Now, I'm going to open up one of the frames. I want to show you this. We have uh, these, we've created these frames and we made it really simple for you to be able to change the colors into these frames. So let's open this frame right here. Now, this frame, you see this is the picture that, that I had in it originally. Now what you can do, we're going to open this image, we're going to do it and change the colors because I want the colors to match this picture better. So we're actually going to go in, clip it into the, to the mask where the photo is. Just going to resize it, fit it into that frame, and then I'm actually just again going to basically double click on these colors to start changing the, the palette and the look of the frame. And a lot of times I just actually go into the image itself and that's how I'll start actually creating the um, colors that for the palette of the, of the frame itself. So we can see here, we can grab a color in here. And again, you can see as it's creating it right on the, on the fly there, you can actually see it in the process of as you choose these different colors to see if you like the look. So here's just, we can change the stroke. I think I want something more into the same color as her sweater. Anyway, you can see how quickly you can do that. One of the things I want to open up this so you can actually see one where I've taken this one particular frame and created many different options so it can match all different sorts of photographs and you can do that so quickly um, with just changing those colors. I do want to show you one more thing because I forgot to show you about the custom shape tools. So you can actually, let's open this image back up again. So we go in here into our shapes go into the custom shape tool and then we're going to go in and grab one of these shapes that again were created and these are the vectors so if you just want to open the vector and drag it in that's fine but some of these these like I said the shapes are only one color so what you're going to do then you've chosen your thing you can go in here then and change your color now when we drag this shape on you're just going to basically drag the shape in this way so now you all again have your color fill so again, you can just change the size and things like that. Same way, you can duplicate it. So that's how easy you can use the shape tool, much like a brush or something like that. Um, it, you know, if you're going to do the brush, you're going to create a new layer and then stamp the brush on. But with this one in the shapes too, you're going to have the same thing that lossless. You're not going to have any pixelization or anything because unlike a brush, you're not limited in, in size. And that's how we do it. Thanks for watching.